This is Twit. So, Aaron, you got something pretty cool for us. Yeah, so I'm sure you guys have talked about this in the past. This is the NVIDIA Shield tablet. Bada -bing, bada -bing. Actually, you want to do the honors Ooh, while I talk about it? There you go, yeah, have sure. Have fun. Oh, look, play, go. play away. There we go. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> you really don't like this camera angle. <laughs> I don't like that camera angle, but that's okay because I can now I can talk a little bit more easily. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, so this is the Shield tablet, and, uh, man, this thing is awesome. So that's, that's, the, that's the quick version. That's the takeaway? That's the takeaway. Um, it's very similar in size to the Nexus 7, actually, but it feels much larger because there's a little bit less bezel on it. Um, I think it's bigger. I mean, it feels It's a little bigger. bit bigger. Yeah. It is bigger in size, but not much when you put yeah. them side by side. Um, it's a little thicker, a little heavier, but not in a troublesome way. It's just like you notice the difference if you have them one in each hand, but it's not a really a big deal. Some people are saying, oh, it's so heavy. It's so thick. You know what? It's really not. <laughs> Um, that's exactly the way they sound when they say it. <laughs> like, Aaron has no patience for the people who I say don't, that. I don't. I don't anymore. I was really worried about that before I bought it. Oh, I'm like, it's so oh, heavy. Am I gonna, it's like a first world problem. Like, my tablet's too heavy. I can't hold it and, and watch my show anymore. Is that what grandma says about it, Aaron? Yes, yes, yeah. Not good for grandmothers. Um, but it actually feels pretty good to hold. It's pretty easy to hold with one hand. It's got that back like you just saw. It's kind of a, it's supposed to be rubberized, but it actually feels a little bit more like leather uh, at least to me, when I hold it, it has a nice grippy feel, which is great. Um, this thing, you know, has the the NVIDIA K1 processor with 192 freaking Kepler cores. Um, so it is super, super fast. Kepler cores? Kepler is what they is call them. That's what the K is for. Yeah. NVIDIA K1. <laughs> We're like in Star Trek. I don't now. know. Yeah, that's don't... what they call it. <laughs> but just the fact that it has that many cores is so yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, the screen is really, really nice. It. Some people were saying, I read some reviews that said, oh, it's not Retina. Uh, well, it's not Retina, but guess what? It's perfectly fine for all the games that I've tested it on. The only problem with the screen is it does have a little bit of glare. Um, so if you're going outside to use this thing, um, you're going to have a, a problem or you're going to have to turn the thing all the way up on bright, which may affect your battery life. Um, it does have HDMI out, HDMI out, which is great. We'll be using that a little bit later on. Um, it does not yet, it's not supported under the Chrome crash, Chrome crash, screen crash, <laughs> Chrome cast screen cast function. Uh, which would be nice for non-gaming, although the HDMI out is really what you want if you're going to be gaming on your big screen TV anyway. Uh, the sound is wicked awesome. We'll be demo It'll demoing be speakers. that. Yeah, yeah the, the speakers are really good. So when you're holding this thing, it really does enhance the gaming experience. Um, they thought about that a lot. Um, the battery life is pretty good. Some people were saying, you know, if they just do nothing but watch Netflix, they were only getting like four to five hours um, of battery life. I've been getting a lot more than that. So... Um, I, it's it's very comparable to the Nexus 7 in terms of battery life. The only complaint I have from a hardware standpoint is the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi I found is not great. I mean, it's okay, but it's not as good as my um, my Samsung Galaxy uh, S4. Um, and it's a little bit worse than the Nexus 7. Um, in terms of space, it comes with six. This is the 16 gig version. And when I first, the first thing I did after I booted it up was I went to see how much space was available because we talk about that a lot in terms of not having enough um, room to run things. There, you can hear the sound. It's pretty good, actually. Um, but I actually had about 13 gig available for apps. Now, Ron is running into one of the problems I have with it as well as the buttons. The buttons are, um, they're there, but they don't, I'd like a little bit more click when you press the buttons so that you know that yeah. you've actually pressed it. I find it a little bit hard when I'm playing a game to do what Ron was just doing, which is turn down the sound or turn up the volume. Yeah. It's a little they're a little, they're, li they're a little too flush. Yeah, a little too flush. Yeah. And they don't have, they give a little too easily. Like it needs to be just a little click yeah. when you touch them, but that's okay. You just get used to that. Okay, so that's the hardware software side. Um, the first thing, is, which is really cool, is it comes with stock Android. So we talk about that a lot, right? Yeah. And stock Android is so, so cool because everything just works. In fact, um, I loaded the uh, Google Now launcher on here, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And, uh, you know, everything just works because it's running stock Android. So everything that, if you're a Google fan, everything that Google has created works great. Um, Towel root works if you're a rooter like me. So one of the first things I did was I went and got towel root, tried it out. Sure enough, I got root access right away. Um, and that's oh, an awesome game. Um, apps to SD works. You, you, there's an SD card um, yep. option with this. And so apps to SD works out of the box. So you can put those big apps on your SD card instead of on the, uh, the built-in memory. 
And there's a couple other things. The only things really that NVIDIA added to this, if you go back to the home screen um, and click on the NVIDIA group, go back there. Yeah. So there's NVIDIA Hub. If you click on the Hub, that's basically their software. It's like the Play Store for software. If you do go to shop uh, at the top there, there we go. So so what basically what they're doing is they're showing you the games that are tailored to run on the on the thing. But if you go to get it now... It just goes to the Google Play Store. Like, there's no... <laughs> so it's like a pseudo shop. Yeah, it's like an overlay for Google Play, basically, for the Google Play Store. <laughs> well, I guess that's good okay. integration. I it, mean, I mean, yeah. sort of. I, I actually yeah. like that better than them developing their own yeah. store. Yeah. Um, but it's a little weird. It's like, well, why even have it then? Um, you'll notice on there that Portal 2 and um, uh, Half-Life 2, or Portal and Half-Life 2 are both on there. Um, and as soon as I get my controller, which was backordered, I'm going to be buying and installing those they work really well uh what else oh, wow. um oh so the other thing you can do with this is game stream so if you're not familiar with that you can basically stream games from your pc to the tablet and play on your tablet so if you have a big gaming P gaming rig at home like i do um you're supposedly be able you're supposed to be able to get this thing to work and you do it through the this hub app as well so if you go back to shop at the top left and then there's a spot there yep go back and open that menu there's a spot there that says my pc games there it is. And if you click on that, it'll say, you know, try to connect with your PC. I have not been able to get this to work. I spent a couple hours on it. It just does not work. And from what I've been reading online, um, everybody's having a problem with game stream right now. It's just not working, unfortunately. Uh, oh, one other thing that's really cool about this, not to monopolize the time here, but it does have a stylus. Oh, so really? for people that do like stylus, it's really cool. It's up here in the corner. Oh, I see. It, and yeah. if you pull it out, it automatically opens the the features that you might want to use a stylus, like paint and stuff. Oh, so wow. It, yeah, pops open that little screen. Go to the Dabbler. Go to the Dabbler. The Dabbler's awesome. Um, my daughter loves this. You can paint and do watercolor. That's the picture my daughter drew. Oh, I don't want to ruin your daughter's picture. Well, you can color on it. She saved the picture. So you can paint. It does watercolor, and it does uh, simulates... Um, uh, oils and, and different types of canvas. And so if you have a kid, they're really going to love this. Or even if you're like a semi-professional artist and you like drawing on, on um, electronic devices, this is going to be really good for you. You're really going to like it. They can do different colors and different textures. It's really, really fun. Um, so they did a good job with that app. Uh, but the biggest thing about it is the games. And this thing runs games like there's no tomorrow. Um, I have not been able to find anything yet to throw at this that it will not run. Um, so we're going to look at some of those later, but I've, I've downloaded a ton of stuff, um, just trying to slow this thing down and I cannot do it. Um, if you just swipe down this way, you can go oh, there on the screen. Um, so swipe over once. I mean, I've tried everything, all kinds of games on this thing and I cannot get it to, to, to hiccup. There, there it is. is. There it is. You must have smooth fingers. I have, that's very <laughs> lady fingers. Dry skin. Um, you can see some of the games there that I've put on this thing. I mean, I've, I've tried to do just about everything. I, I just can't, if I can load it on here, it runs and it runs great. Riptide's really fun on this, by the yeah, way. That's Jason's, if Jason was here, he would say this is the the, the, the uh, stock. The go-to. The demo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've already been playing it a little bit. Because of all the water and all the that stuff. The water stuff, and yeah. all that stuff. I mean, it really does a good job yeah. um, in uh, rendering the graphics and stuff. I just can't get it to, to, uh, to slow down. It's really, really good. Um, so anyway, that's the review. Um, there's absolutely no lag. I, I can't say enough about this. If you're in the market for a, an eight inch size tablet, um, you're, you're going to want to get this. I mean, if you're into games, if you're not into games, Nexus 7 is fine. But if you're into games and you want to just get a little bit more horsepower out of your system, uh, you're definitely going to want to get this because it is a great, well-built tablet. Um, very much worth the, the price. You're also going to want to get the cover and the controller for it, which adds about another $100, um, because you're going to be playing games on this so much, you're going to want that dedicated controller. Um, so if we can pry it out of Ron's hands. Oh, I don't think that'll be a problem. That's my review. Here it comes. Oh! It's very hard to play a game on a tablet that involves moving the tablet yeah. while watching it through a camera on a TV screen. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing that, a great that's job. Literally, yeah. Now, now I can't see what I was doing, so now I need to look down, and now we're just going to watch me problems. play a game. So there you go. There you so go. There you go. That's right, the cool. Nvidia Shield tablet. Well, that's awesome. I was curious about that because we had the sh the first Shield thing was the controller right, with the right. flip thing and whatever, and so now there's that. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. How, how much is it again? Did you say? So the it's two ninety nine, and then the um, 
the uh, controller is like 60 bucks and the cover is like 30 bucks. So well, it's not the best. You know, it's the price of a gaming system. Yeah. Now so. they do have another version as well. If you have, if you don't already know that does, um, uh, LTE has built in, um, uh, cellular network connectivity. Um, that's a hundred dollars more, but you get, you also get 32 gig of internal memory instead of 16. So, uh, might be worth it for you, but for me, I'm good with the 16, especially with that extra SD card I can add to it.